Hey guys, we are in the basement and today I want to talk about a pinball machine. I love pinball. You know, it's kind of fun. Collecting video games is definitely cool and where it's at, I mean, I love video games. But there's just something about owning a pinball machine and playing pinball. It's just such a different experience. And today I want to talk about a pinball machine that's actually knocked down here. It's in my garage. Um, I have actually nowhere to put this thing, so I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but it's a pinball made by Williams from the late 80s, and you know what, let's go out in the garage and I'll show you guys what it's all about. Okay, we are outside the garage. Now, the garage is kind of where I keep my extra games. It's also in the summer where I work on stuff. So this is kind of like my misfit arcade in, uh, for the summer. And I'll be working on things and getting them fixed up to bring down into the basement. But the game that we want to talk about today, of course, is none other than Big Guns, which was a pinball machine released by Williams in 1987. Um, it is a System 11 pinball machine. It was designed by Python, Angelou, and Steve Ritchie. And these guys have worked together on a bunch of games. Python, of course, is probably best known for like Pinbot and Bride of Pinbot, uh, Fishtails, Taxi. Um, the guy's basically an artist. He does all the artwork or at least sketches. I don't know if he colors it, but um, his artwork always kind of has this weird sexuality to it. Um, this game, maybe not so much, but there's some kind of some hidden, I think, phallic kind of things going on there in the back class and stuff. But Big Guns is kind of an interesting game. It is a medieval space theme. That's right, medieval space. And the artwork is kind of medieval looking, but it all kind of has like a space type theme. And the kind of the hook of this game is that there's these two cannons. You see that? There's a cannon here and there's a cannon here. And what you do is you get the ball locked into the cannon from back here, and then the cannon will actually fire the ball through the air and into this little uh, metal tunnel thing, whatever you want to call it. Um, and it's actually pretty cool and amazing that it actually works because consistently these things will launch the ball through the air from the cannon and into this little tunnel. And honestly, I can't believe that it actually works. It must have taken them forever to get the geometry of that right. It's actually pretty remarkable. But anyway, the point of the game is to rescue the queen who's back here trapped in this castle. And I, I, you know, I have to admit, I don't fully understand everything about this game, but I pretty much got the gist of it. Um, basically, what you want to do is you want to lock the balls, okay? And you lock the balls by loading the cannons. And there's two cannons on the play field, one and two. And you lock the ball by shooting the ball through this lane, and then it locks it into the cannon. So that's ball one, and then you lock the second one the same way, but the reverse way, through this one here, and then it locks ball two. And then what you want to do then is shoot the ball all the the way up the middle back here which is I guess you could say the third cannon and then that starts multi-ball and then when you're doing multi-ball um, this is kind of where it gets a little cloudy for me because you could you what you want to do is start what they call the queen queen's rescue mode um, which I guess is kind of an invincibility mode and you get to that mode by hitting um, as you're doing the multi-ball actually it's going to light these cannons and if you hit one of the cannons the one that's lit during multi-ball it starts the queen rescue and the queen's rescue essentially has you hitting these targets to rescue the queen and then once you do that you get you know mega points that's like the whole point of the game is to rescue the queen during multi-ball and then it also starts what they call invincibility mode which is right here where this popper comes up this gate will open up and basically you cannot lose your ball at all and you're trying to rescue the queen I guess during that that point um, but anyway let me take the glass off oh actually one more thing that's kind of cool in this game in the back glass it has a bagatelle um, a bagatelle I guess is kind of like a pachinko game or, or you know, like an old-fashioned pin-type game where balls bounce down and bounce off these pins and then land in one of these slots. And it actually has one of those in the back glass. So during the game, when you hit the ball back here, it'll actually activate this Bagatelle game. And what, there's a, a little uh, a coil back here that hits a ball, and the ball comes up, 
and then it, hit, it bounces off these pins, and it lands in one of these slots, and then whatever slot it lands in, it'll actually light one of these shields, and once you get all of those shields lit, you get a special bonus or whatever. Actually, I don't think I've ever even done that, so, but anyway, it's kind of a neat feature, and they also use the Bagatelle during um, uh, the, the end of the game, so when you, you, when you lose your last ball, you actually have a chance to earn an extra ball and play one more ball by doing the Bagatelle at the end of the game, so anyway, let me set up the try Pod, take off the glass and I'll show you guys how this game plays. Okay, one more thing I want to point out before we move on. I got the glass off here, but basically the play field is divided into kind of two halves. There's the upper half here, and there's flippers on the top, and then there's the lower half that has flippers on the bottom. And when you get the ball up here, there's actually kind of a mini game that I'm going to be shooting for, and there's these trolls right here. These are troll guards, and behind them is like the king troll or whatever. Excuse me. And so basically, these targets are going to light up, um, and you have values, 150, 100, and 50,000. And if I hit the troll with this flipper, or whatever flipper, if I hit a lit troll, it, the target goes down, and if, the, it, and if it's lit, I then have to hit the troll in the back, and I then receive the value. So that's kind of a mini game that's going on inside the game while the game's going on. So when the ball's up there, there's actually kind of something to do, which is actually very cool. Um, but really the main job here for me when I'm playing is to get the multi-ball going, which I do by locking the ball behind the cannons right here. So okay, let me uh, get the tripod going and we'll come right back. Okay, here we are. We have the tripod set up, and now let's play a game. Admittedly, pinball is kind of hard to film. I hope this angle is okay. Well, let's give it a shot here. Let me get down. All right, so we're going to start a game. Now, the first things first, there is a skill shot. Like all good pinball games, they all have a skill shot. The skill shot in this game is you need to plunge the ball from here, up this lane, and into the middle slot or row back there. It's actually not easy to do, and I just failed miserably. Okay, so now we have the ball locked. The first thing I want to do, I want to lock these balls to start multi-ball. You lock the ball by getting them into the lit, lit cannons. Okay, let's see if we can do that. Okay. Not doing well here. We may have to start cheating. I will try not to. Like, like now. Second ball, skill shot, we did it! We got the tower bonus, 100,000 points, which also locks the second cannon right there. We're now ready to start multi-ball, which basically requires us to shoot the ball up here in the flashing target, which is the third cannon. So let's try that. Okay, so we want to get it up there. Let's try a skill shot again. No lock. Let's see if we can lock that damn ball up there. You can see the control. Okay, there you go. We've locked to the third ball. Now multi ball is going to start. And I'm going to cheat on this so I can show you guys how it works. Watch those balls fire. It's pretty cool, isn't it? All right, so we've got the balls coming down here. Alright, so basically we want to hit the, the flashing target, which is that. We have just started the invincibility mode. Now we want to hit all of these targets to rescue everybody. Like that. Okay, queen rescue because I just killed all the guards. There you go. So that's really the main goal of the game. Of course, I completely cheated.
the game has kind of returned back to normal because we just did the big mode. And now we need to start locking the cannons again. And basically do the whole thing over again. It actually gets a little bit harder. I already had a ball lock there. Watch this, it fires it again. I really love that cannon thing. Now we've loaded the two cannons again. Maybe we can start our multi-ball. Let's try it. And we can. All right, I'm gonna actually play this one. Okay, here we go. Watch the balls fire through the air. It's so badass. I just love that. All right. Okay, I can start it. I want to now try to kill all the guards. To rescue the queen. And I failed. So I failed. She screamed. She's dead. So anyway, that's basically it. You guys kind of get the idea. That is big guns. Now, let's end the game because I want to kind of show you guys how the bagatelle works on the back glass. So we have our third ball here. So let me uh, get rid of it. And I'll show you that bagatelle. Okay, so now watch. It's going to say bonus, bonus, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so gunner one, king's chamber shot. So there it is. There's the king's chamber. See that bagatelle? It did not land in the right slot, so we did not get an extra ball. But if it would have landed in the lit one, I would have gotten another ball to play in this game. So anyway, that, there you guys have it. That is Big Guns. You know, it's a pretty cool game. I love the sounds. I love the artwork. By the way, I didn't mention this, but the back box is oversized. It's like, it's probably a quarter taller than a standard pinball back box. So if you have a low basement, this pinball is not going to fit down there. Um, but anyway, it's a really cool game. This cabinet is in okay shape. You know, the sides are a little rough. I think the play field is in decent shape overall. Everything works. Um, I have a little issue here with this gate. I need to figure that out. That gate's supposed to actually open and close during the game. It's not doing it on mine. Uh, so I don't know what the problem is. I need to fix it though. But anyway, there you have it. That is Big Guns. By the way, if you subscribe to my channel, thanks. And if you don't, why not? Come on. Subscribe to the channel. We just hit 2,000 subscribers recently. Can you believe that? Holy crap. So if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe now. And also, I don't know if you guys know this, but I have a podcast. Check out VideoGameOutsiders.com. It's actually a pretty popular gaming podcast. We've been doing it now for almost seven years. Can you believe that? And also, check out my band, TheKillScreens.com. TheKillScreens.com. Our debut CD is actually done and will be out within the next week. So if you want information about that, go to TheKillScreens.com and sign up for our newsletter. And uh, I'll probably be giving away some music here on the channel. If you're interested, send me a message through YouTube. <coughs> Excuse me. Anyway, there you guys have it. Check out johnsarcade.com. Other than that, we will see you guys later. <laughs>